Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Coppers vs. Champions, but of course the catch being that the champions have permadeath. So to quickly explain what I mean by that, basically, if any one of these Copper players here on the attacking lineup are able to kill any of the champion players, that champion player has to completely leave the game and they are out of the match. So, obviously the champs have a pretty significant advantage to start, but if they slip up and they slowly start to get picked off, they could lose that advantage very, very quickly. A little slip up here, there, and all of a sudden, it's a 5v3 in favor of the copper players. So hopefully this video is uh, enjoyable. If you guys think it was, then be sure to drop a like on it. Defenders Subscribe if you guys are new, as I do post down. videos like this one every day. And uh, yeah, thank you. Make sure you guys uh, follow all of these players down below with the links in the description mean a lot to them would mean a lot to me and let's see how this first round goes checking out dino's pov he's actually gonna throw a camp outside now remember the valk nerf that we saw somewhat recently actually made it to where when the cams are outside they disconnect after 10 seconds so he's gonna lose that cam but he was able to get just a little bit of information with it taking a look at the copper players it seems like they're gonna be trying to push in through small tower here we've got some interesting decisions coming out from them already we've got the finca uh ar which we don't see very often but it looks like cleveland on the zof is actually going to bring that lmg i know is actually in a pretty good spot here a lot of the copper players are still by dining and small tower so if dino is able to wait here he might be able to get a pick that's going to be the first kill of the game onto saltine cracker from zonki so that is going to be a 5v4 in favor of the champ players so far you still got to be careful of Dino, who's down below. We actually see Eclipse right now on the bottom of White Stairs, so this could be our next engagement here between Dino and Eclipse. Eclipse going to be all crouch walking up the main or the White Stairs. Dino not going to be able to hear him because of that. Zonky might be the first person to see him on White Stairs. Zonky's going to swing. That's going to be the kill onto Eclipse. There goes the Yana. 5v3 in favor of the champs now. Dino trying to go for that flank, but he's already dead, so he's just going to go straight back into the bomb site. Cleveland doing an aggressive push in straight into Attic. That's going to be Ride taking out Cleveland and Rocky with the kill onto Paft and Zonky with the last one onto LA. Very decisive round from the champs and they keep all five players for the next round. Interesting roam track coming out from the champ players. We see Dino making some rotates into Kitchen right now. We'll see how he plans to use that. Zonky actually upstairs on the backstage with Rook. Trying to move into meeting right now. So definitely a heavy roam presence coming from the champ players. And with that being said, a little bit of a roam clear coming in from the copper players. Eclipse is going to take a lot of damage from Zonky. who's going to eventually get the kill. Impact grenade going to go through the wall. Doing lots of damage onto Saltine Cracker. And that's going to be him taking out Gekki with the finish onto that. Where are the rest of the copper players here? Cleveland on the Zofia, as well as LA and Paft all the way into small tower slash dining right now. They're trying to do a Westover clear and take control of that diffuser again. But is it going to be possible? 3v5 against five champ players now. They've really put themselves into a bad position. They really need to push together and try to isolate these 1v1s if at all possible to try to put the advantage back into their favor. Cleveland trying to push in through dining hall here into green but he's gonna run into dino he's in a pre-fire and that's the kill for dino onto cleveland he's trying to go for some pre-fire to the wall but nothing's gonna hit la gonna grab that diffuser paft trying to maybe push down these freezer stairs looks like they're actually gonna go for the freezer hatch la really needs to watch his flank here because if dino chooses to flank here that is both players dead and that's exactly what la is gonna do he's gonna be holding the angle onto the flank from dino Dino going to decide to head back down into the site. And both of our copper players here are still trying to push into Freezer. Now, the round is most likely lost for these copper players. But if they're able to get a lucky nade, if they're able to get a lucky shot, something, if they're able to just take out one of these champ players, they're going to put themselves in a much better position for the next round. But it doesn't look likely as Rocky takes out a lane. It's all up to Paft in a 1v5 against five champ players who have Thunderbird and Doc and are all at max HP. Not a good position for him whatsoever. We see Gekyu trying to go for the flank right now. 35 seconds left. He's got the smoke grenade, so he should probably head back down to the site. Haft desperately trying to push in through the freezer stairs. He's going to try to maverick towards the barbed wire. Interesting decision here. The clock is ticking. Smoke grenades from Gekyu going to go out. That's a lot of damage onto Paft. He's going to get taken out by Gekyu. And that's a second flawless round for the champ players, who once again 
survive for round three. A little bit of a spawn peak coming out from Zonky right now. I tried to help the copper players by telling them not to solo push, but we see Saltine Cracker doing exactly that. And if we look, we've got a spawn peak coming out from Raki as well as Zonky right now. And that might be the kill onto Saltine. It is. Zonky going for three more or two more. He's going to get another kill onto LA. There was a second person right there. He could have had the 3K if he had just uh, hit that second shot. But it's already a 3v5. 30 seconds into the round, and the copper players are already in shambles cleveland eclipse and path the last three against our five champ players here are they able to do it they just need to get a couple kills here we've seen before when we put two or three champs against five coppers they don't play so well but together as five it's a lot more difficult for these copper players but like i said all they need is one or two kills here and the advantage will be heavily in their favor that's going to be Gekyu with the kill on to Cleveland. There goes your glass player. It's all up to Eclipse and Path. But there's the first kill. Path with the kill of the Zonkey. Zonkey's out of here. The top frag for the champ player. Seven and one. He's got to leave the game now. Eclipse with another kill on to Raki. Eclipse with a third kill. All of a sudden, it's a 2v5 for the copper players. 2v2 on the round. Ryan with the kill on to Path. This is exactly what we needed from the copper players. Gekyu. Zonkey. All gone. Rocky gone as well. It's all up to Rye and Dino against our remaining five copper players. This is exactly what we needed to see here. Wow. Eclipse with a big 2k. Path with the 1k on the round. That's exactly what we needed to see from these coppers. 1v2 now for Eclipse. It doesn't even matter if he loses this round. It's going to be a 5v2 next round. Although it would be beneficial if he does win this. Um, because I guess that would be GG's. <laughs> We'll see if it's possible. One minute left. We see our copper players setting up the site a little bit here. Some shields getting placed by Rai. Dino trying to throw out some Omaze to stop any sort of projectiles. Eclipse going to throw out an Ash Charge as a little bit of a bait here, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Both of our champ players looking in towards the east side of the map, but we actually have Eclipse pushing in through the small tower. Will they hear the barricade? Dino surely going to hear that barricade as well as the Legion Mine, but he's not turning around to look at it. 30 seconds left. Surely they heard that now. Dino going to be swinging out. Narrowly getting killed there. He almost left Ryan into a 1v5 for the next round. 20 seconds left. Neither of these champ players can mess up. If they do, the, the other remaining champ player is going to be in a 1v5 for the next round. Eclipse. Very low HP now. He's actually going to get a kill on the Dino. It's all up to Ryan now in the 1v5. 1v1 on this round though. Five seconds remaining for Eclipse. Ryan surely going to win this round now. But Eclipse... With a massive round, gonna take care of three of the champ players there. And Paft with a kill as well. It's all up to Rai now on the rest of this game. 1v5. Rai is up 3 0. I'm getting flashbacks to my previous video with Noodle, our other champ player, where we put him up against five coppers, but he had a three round head start. We're basically in the same position as that video now. Oh my goodness, who would have thought this was going to happen? You guys were probably watching the first two rounds like, yeah, the champs are going to smoke them 4-0. But here we are, the fourth round in, and it's a 1v5. Yo, really, really yeah. quickly for the video, how are, how are you guys feeling after getting smoked like that? They stuck on I feel like I, I feel great, like I, I threw, I threw. Yeah. I <laughs> Dude, I was thinking, I was like thinking to myself, oh no, this video's gonna be so boring. They're just gonna 4 0, and then that happened. Oh my god. All right, so we just had a little bit of a mid game interview, if you want to call it that, with the champ players. A little bit demoralized, it sounds like, after their four of them are gonna get taken out in just a single round. When I was going into this video, I was expecting, okay, like maybe. Maybe like one champ will die in a round and then maybe like two rounds later another would die maybe two But here we go in one singular round eclipse and path able to take out four champ players leaving Rai All up to himself in the 1v5 right now. Is he able to do this? I don't know. He's up 3-0 All he has to do is win this round. He has to win one round and the game is over It's still definitely possible. He is up against five copper players. They're not the best players in the game and his individual skill is definitely far superior than any of these individual copper players but together is it going to be enough to stop Rai he's not going to get taken out that's GG Rai's getting taken out the coppers win the scoreline might be one to three but it's permadeath Rai's gone and so are the other four champ players that's GG the coppers win and we're going to have to go to a map too like, yeah. wow GG's gentlemen wow
We made it interesting. Time to just pour out the next two. We had to spice it up. Yeah, we had to spice it up. I did not expect oh, that. I did not expect that. Bro, I couldn't even get one kill. I know. I was hope, dude. I literally when I was casting that, I was I was like, getting out the words that you killed that rook and you didn't kill him. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting once again on border here. The champ players had requested that they start on attack. And that means the copper players are going to be on defense. Now, don't get confused. I know that the blue team normally starts on attack. I just switched it in the settings. So uh, don't be confused. The coppers are actually on defense. Now, with map one out of the way, I just wanted to give a quick little reminder. If you guys had enjoyed that first map, consider liking the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Like I said before, I post daily here on the channel. I post these sorts of videos every single day. So make sure you guys turn that notification bell on so that you don't miss any of the uploads. And make sure to follow me as well as all of the rest of these champ players down below in the description. I'll have all of their socials there. Make sure to follow them. And let's get on to round one. So I'm not sure if my editor will put in any of this conversation, but... When I was in the Discord with the champ players, they wanted to start on attack and they wanted to play border specifically to do this rush strat that we see them setting up for right now. I'm not in the comms, so I can't tell you exactly what they plan to do, but from my understanding, they plan to rush archives from the east balcony, probably with the Ying, the Glaz, and then Montane plant. We do see Zonky's drone down here in custom, so I'm not sure if Zonky maybe plans to go through detention somehow. Um, or really what he plans to do, but his drone is down here for whatever reason. So we'll have to see what he tries to do. But there's actually a zombie spawn peeking down here. This is interesting. There's an zombie on the wall and he's just prone. I'm not sure what's going on here. Zonky's got the info on this though, so that shouldn't be a problem for them whatsoever. Taking a look at the rush shot right now. Raki as the glass already repelled up here on the balcony. Just waiting for the smoke grenades to come out. Most likely from Dino and Gekyu. The wall is already open. Now, keep in mind, this is permadeath. So if one C4 comes out while they're planting, that's that's over for that player. Rai already taking a good amount of damage right now. If I can get to him. I cannot find him, actually. Wow, that's a run out, actually, from Salty Cracker. He's going to get taken out by uh, Dino. Rai with a team kill on the Gekyu. That's going to count. That's Gekyu gone. It's already a 4v5. Thank you gone from Rai, an accidental team kill. I told them last game that the team kills count. We're actually going to see Zonky though rush into sight right now. He's going to get a kill onto Cleveland. Dino with the kill onto Eclipse. So it's a 2v4 now for the Copper players. Both of them stuck all the way back here in Armory. Zonky just holding their cross. This is going to be an easy plan for Raki who's getting the bomb down as we speak. Paft in a lay. Helpless to stop this path that C4 would have been so influential earlier if he had just been playing closer to Africa But Zonky just still holding that cross path trying to push up with the lay, but it's not gonna happen Zonky gonna be swinging out. That's a kill onto a lay They have to play passive because they don't know where the last guy is path with the C4 ringing out But that's gonna be Zonky with the kill Wow good rounds by the copper players all things in consideration here They were able to get one kill or well, really maybe not a good round by the Coppers. Good round by Rai, who was able to kill uh, uh, Gekyu. So, Copper's going to be benefiting from that. <laughs> We're seeing the Copper players set up for this setup now from the attacking lineup. But I don't think the champs are going to try to go for an East take rush like they did last round. But if they do, they're going to have to go through the... I'm guessing shield slash frost setup of Eclipse here, as well as the Capkin traps that we see on Cleveland. But I don't know that they're going to push this. Taking a look at the lineup and the drone positions from the champ players. Looks like all of their drones are set up outside of Armory and uh, CCTV slash break room. So that's most likely where the push is going to come from. Now, once again, this is permadeath. So Gekyu is gone. Rai nated Gekyu last game or last round and that is Gekyu gone permanently for the entire map. So it's already a 5v4 in favor of the copper players. So they already after round one have an advantage over the champs technically. So we'll see if that actually plays any sort of part in them winning this game here. Raki on the wall right now, trying to see if he can get it open. L now, luckily for Zaki, he's on the Thatcher. So he's going to be able to Thatcher this wall, and Raki's going to be able to thermite it open right away. We see Dino setting up the Osas right now, so they're already setting up for a post plant. Double 
Thatcher grenade gonna come out from Zonkin to make sure no tricks are happening. Rai does have two grenades to nade out the guy half full, but that's Dino and Zonkin with two big kills. Already a 4v3 now. Cleveland trying to ring out some shots from the closet here, but the wall is soft, so he's already in a really bad spot. You always want this wall reinforced here for the most part. Push in from Zonkey. That's going to be a kill onto Cleveland. We hear Dino setting up the Osas for the plant. Speaking of the plant, Rocky's going to be getting that down. Zonkey's still just holding the cross right now. Definitely the entry fragger for the champ players right now. Rai with a big kill onto Eclipse. It's all up to Paft right now. He was all the way crouched in a corner in archives. What is he doing? 1v4 now. He really needs to push in. C4 going to hit the top of the roof right there. Not going to do anything for Paft. Donkey and Co. just holding an angle. Waiting. Wobbing to go out. And that's Donkey getting the kill onto Paft. Flawless round for the champs regardless of it being a 4v5. Interesting setup here by Eclipse, choosing to just place a shield there. Not really sure why. The reason you probably don't want a shield here is the attackers are going to be able to hop in the window and then plant behind the shield with full cover. So that's definitely not a great shield placement by them. Lots of traps coming out though. We see Eclipse throwing out three of his thorn traps here. Saltine as well, throwing out some of his leisure mines on this window. So they're, they're expecting a push from the window, but I don't expect a push from that window. I expect a push from either upstairs uh, or this west side of the map through workshop. That's what I'm expecting the champs here to do, but we will see what they plan. Yeah, as I said, I expect this workshop push and here we go. Dino's already droning in through the ventilation slash workshop area and we're gonna be seeing them try to push in through here. We see Raki trying to open up the door right now. All of the champ players outside workshop right now. So definitely gonna do a workshop take as I had mentioned before, but that means all of this utility that the defenders had placed onto that window of tellers is going to be pretty much useless saltine in kind of a precarious situation right now he's kind of just in the open crouched one of these champ players swings the door that we see uh dino's drone at right there and he's going to be done for Rai try to do just that swinging into the hallway see if he can get some shots onto any of the defenders who are sitting inside of tellers wallbane's coming out but nothing going to hit just yet we actually see zonky trying to open up the single wall into uh tellers right now or into the tellers hall at the very least rocky going to be opening up the wall into bathroom right now they have no vertical control just yet though so that's not good but it doesn't matter rai in the site with with zonky who's going to get three kills right with the kill of his own whoa team kills coming out remember those team kills count so you definitely don't want a team kill Thorn trap going to come out but no damage done by that last player is salting cracker who's going to get taken out by rocky and that's another flawless round from the champ players but remember when it was 3-0 last map, that's when it all fell apart for these champ players. They got a little bit too cocky, and that's when it, everything fell apart. So they got to stay on their toes here. They got to lock out this round. All right, this could potentially be the very last round for the Copper players before we move on to our next map here. Now, the Coppers do have a little bit of an advantage still. Like I said before, they've got that 5v4. But as we've seen on the previous rounds, it hasn't really made that much of a difference. Lots of spawn peaks coming out from the champ players right now. Great opportunity for the copper players to potentially get a pick, but they all seem to be a little bit spread apart. And that's exactly what we see with the Ash. He's going to take a lot of damage. That's Eclipse. Zonky able to get, or Rocky actually able to get a fair amount of damage onto Eclipse there. Already a bad start for the copper players. And we just see them so split up. We've got Cleveland, uh, Thatcher, all the way downstairs for some reason. Zonky, that's already a kill onto LA. There goes your Zope LMG, who was all the way on East Stairs. We just see the copper players really way too split up. Salting Cracker already going for the thermite charge, but Rocky going to impact grenade the wall in CCTV and take him out. That's Salting Cracker down. Eclipse is down as well. Already a 2v4 for the copper players. Donkey trying to go for some quick peeks. Is he going to get the shot onto Path? It doesn't look likely just yet. It's all up to Path now in the 1v4. All the champ players are swinging out. This could be a great opportunity for him to get at least one kill. There's claimers on the window. This is a great chance for him to get a kill. Rocky with a, a kill onto Eclipse. Just get one kill. It's not going to happen. Dino with a kill onto FaZe. GG's map over. All right, here we go. Map number three. Now, the first map, if you guys recall, was Oregon, and the Coppers had actually won. Now, they didn't win by round count. It was actually one to three. They were only able to win a singular round. But because of that, they were able to kill all five of the champs and remembering that this is permadeath there were no more champs to continue on to the next round so they got a win by default now 
the second map border the champs were able to win in a 4-0 fashion they only lost Gekyu by a team kill from rise so the copper players really had no effect on that game whatsoever but here we are on map three of coastline are the copper players going to be able to recreate what they did on oregon are they going to be able to take out multiple of these champ players and put together another win to win out this series we shall find out here starting on round one but again just a little reminder make sure to follow everybody with the links down below in the description consider subscribing like the video comment down below what other videos you would like to see and if you guys are interested in playing in any of these videos then feel free to join my discord server the link will be down below in the description it's totally free to join for pc and console and that is where i get everybody for these sorts of videos so like i said if you'd like to play in these videos the link to my discord server is down below in the description Raki potentially going for a spawn peak here with the C4, but nobody is going to be spawning over by the pool side. So that's going to be no kills for him, but that's Dino with a kill onto Path. That is going to be the glass getting taken out. Great shots by him. Most of the uh, attackers here, the copper players, are going to be starting over by Ruins, it seems. Lots of players peeking out through Ruins. We actually see a Sense coming out by Cleveland here. I'm interested to see how a copper player controls the recoil of this gun as it is notoriously terrible. Raku with some aggressive peaks with the SMG-11. He's got to be really careful. Remember, it's permadeath. So if he just slips up, misses a shot once, the copper players get a lucky kill when he goes to quick peek. Anything like that, it is game over for Raki or whoever is the player that ends up dying. And that is Saltine Cracker going to get taken out by Zonky. He's going for a second kill and he's going to get it. That's LA going down. Two big kills for Zonky now. 2v5. For the copper players already in this round. Eclipse trying to peek in through the hookah balcony. He's going to get taken out by Raki. Cleveland with the kill on his Zonki. Great start by the copper players. It is a claymore, but that still counts. That's going to be Zonki getting taken out. And he is gone. That's going to be a 4v5 for the champs next round. Raki with the last kill on to, I believe that's LA. Rocky going for an aggressive spawn peek here onto the front side, but unfortunately for him, there's going to be none of the attackers spawning over there. Spawn peeks coming out from Dino onto the ruined spawn. Narrowly going to be taken out Eclipse, but not quite. All of the copper players able to get out of spawn, at least so far. Late rotates being made by Rocky here. 4v5 already for the champ players. Is it going to make a difference for the coppers though? Gekyu on the Warden. Actually, a direct counter to Path's Glass right now. This could be really, really bad for Path. I don't know if he knows that Gekyu is on the Warden. Now, as I say this, Raki taking huge amounts of damage. He is one or two bullets away from being completely removed from this map. Wow, Eclipse of the kill into Gekyu, so it's a 5v3 now. Very nice shots by him. That is Gekyu gone out for the rest of the map. 3v5 for the rest of the game on these copper players now. Dino going to run out and actually down path. That's the glass getting taken out right now. He's going to try to get another kill onto the Jackal of Salting Cracker. Shots coming out from both players. A little bit of damage onto Dino. A little bit of damage onto Saltine. No shots going to connect to the head just yet though. Clips, the star player for the copper players by far throughout this matchup. Trying to peek it through the kitchen window here. Oh, almost getting the shot onto Mozzie. That would have been Rai taken out for the rest of the game. Not quite though. Pathed on very low HP. About one shot from being removed from this round now. You can see Raki is playing so passive right now. He's so worried about getting taken out for the rest of the game. Like I said, just one bullet and Raki is done for the rest of the map. So he's got to be very careful how he plays this. Saltine actually coming into the hallway here. He almost got a kill onto Dino, but he saw the... Or actually, that would have been Rai, but he saw the Alibi clone and shot that instead. Huge mistake by Saltine. Could have actually pulled away with the kill there. Looks like Cleveland might have actually disconnected, unfortunately. He's stuck on the top of the stairs here. That's Rai with a nice kill on the path. It could potentially only be a 3v3 here as Cleveland looks to be lagged out. And that is him disconnecting. Unfortunate. There's only 30 seconds left, so we're going to continue to play the round out. 3v3 now. Coppers versus champs. Who's going to win? The Coppers definitely have more HP, but will it matter? Rocky's trying to play very passive. 20 seconds left. They've got to go through these Aruni traps as well. L 
Rocky just holding an angle right now. Salting Cracker and Eclipse trying to push in into the bathroom. But that Aruni gate is just sitting there. Rai gonna get a kill onto LA. Oh my god, that's actually Saltine Cracker getting a kill onto Dino. Rocky with another kill as well. Rai almost getting taken out by Eclipse, but he's gonna get the kill. That is Dino getting taken out, and just like that, it's a 2v5. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be difficult. It is all up to our two remaining champ players, Rai and Rocky. Make sure to give them a follow with the links down below for making it this far into the video. The only two remaining champ players on our third map here. Now, it's important to note, Rai, I don't know if he's, I don't know if you want to call him the MVP of the champ team, but he's the only player on the champ team that hasn't died early. He was the last one alive on Oregon when the Coppers had first won. And of course, none of the champ players besides Gekyu, who Rai had actually team killed on border, had died. So Rai is our longest surviving champ player of the series so far. So we'll see if him and Raki are able to take this dub here. It definitely would have been nice if his teammates were able to leave him with a 3-0. If they were 3-0, they would have been able to secure that match point, And they would have had a little bit of leeway. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Because if both of these players die, they basically just lose. So in a way, maybe looking at the scoreline doesn't even really matter. Yes, it's 2-0. But it doesn't really matter when if Rai and Raki both die, they lose. So really, they can't lose a single round. You see Paft actually on the blitz. This is very interesting. This could be a big thorn in the side of our two champ players. No pun intended with Rai on Thorn. But Raki is on this Capkin. So we'll see if uh, maybe he's the blitz is going to get stopped by the Capkin here. Cleveland taking a little bit of damage from Raki. The blitz of Path trying to smoke grenade in. Actually, this could be bad for him. He's most likely going to run straight into these Capcom traps right now. He's going to. That's going to be Path getting taken out. That's the blitz gone. Rocky trying to quick peek and get another kill onto the sense player, but he's going to get taken out. Wow. All up to Rai. Once again, his team leaving him in a 1v5. This could be it. If Rai loses this 1v4, it is GG. Salting Cracker trying to push in through Blue Bar right now. They've got the pings onto Rai. This is just unfair at this point. Live ping is coming out from Rai. He's going to get one kill onto Eclipse. There goes the sledge. Ile, Cleveland, and Saltine. The three remaining copper players here. Rai trying to flank in through office. Back into blue bar. He's going to get another kill onto Saltine. Putting him back to around 50 HP though. This is not a good start. He could get a wall here onto Cleveland. But it's not going to happen. Rai. 1v2 now. 40 seconds left on that diffuser. Ile had planted. Cleveland placing some claymores down. Rai not in a good spot whatsoever. Flashbang's coming out from LA. All he has to do is get the kill here onto Rai. Is it going to happen? Wallbang's coming out from both players. Nothing going to hit just yet. Rai, a lot of damage onto LA. 1v1 now, but LA is going to win it. GG's. The Coppers take it. The entire series, 2-1. to one. Who would have thought the Coppers would beat 5 champs with permadeath? GG's to everybody who played. Thank you so much to the Copper players for playing. Thank you so much for the chance for playing. Make sure to follow them with the links down below in the description. You can also find all of my socials there as well. Once again, GG's. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe. Like the video. It would mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.